Hey there, and welcome to another video. My name is Lenora Edwards, and I am a board certified speech language pathologist with Better Speech. Today, we're going to talk about tongue thrusts what it is, what are some characteristics, how it occurred, and how treatment can help. Let's get started. Hey there. Before we get into today's video content, I want to go ahead and remind you to subscribe to our channel, Better Speech. And after you watch the video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to share with your family and friends. Also, visit us at betterspeech.com for more information. Now, over to the video. Now, when it comes to a tongue thrust condition, what's actually happening is there's forward movement of the tongue. Now, when your tongue is at rest, your tongue tip should actually be up behind your teeth, mouth closed. When there is a tongue thrust, that tongue is actually moving forward. Now, it can either go between the teeth or it can push against the front of the teeth. Also, with a tongue thrust condition, it can sometimes be referred to as an oral facial myofunctional disorder or OMD. Now, when it comes to a tongue thrust, there are a variety of contributing factors that may result in the tongue thrust condition. For example, there may be finger sucking or thumb sucking as well as pacifier sucking that may be going on for too long. When we're born, we are actually born with a front to back swallow. That's very appropriate. As we develop, our swallowing pattern is to become a wave. And if we're having that thumb sucking component or that pacifier component for too long, we develop that forward swallowing pattern, which does not benefit us, resulting in a tongue thrust. A few other contributing factors to a tongue thrust include genetics or missing teeth or an open bite, even poor or low muscle tone and strength in this area. Another one can even be an upper airway obstruction. Now, whether that individual has larger tonsils, larger adenoids or allergies, whatever the case may be, when the nasal passageway is blocked and that individual can't breathe, the jaw will lower, the tongue will come forward, allowing that individual to breathe, but also resulting in a tongue thrust. Here are some characteristics that may indicate that your little one is experiencing a tongue thrust condition. Very specifically, when swallowing or biting food, especially when there's an open bite, it pushes that food forward and it'll make it even more difficult for them to clear the food from their mouth or even bite into the food. Another indication is the dentition that is coming in. If you're noticing that those teeth are coming to the front, especially when you bring them to the dentist, they'll be able to notice this distortion because that ongoing pressure will shift the growth and the accurate development of those teeth. Another indicator is their speech sounds, very specifically the sounds as in so what, or the sound z, as in bees the tongue will actually come between the teeth. There are a few other sounds that may be distorted that also include your sh sound as in sh and ch as in church. And now for my very own personal story. When I grew up, I was a thumb sucker. So my thumb was in my mouth and my tongue was moving front to back. Over time, my teeth did come forward ever so slightly. At the time that I was 12 years old, my orthodontist didn't seem to be overly concerned and didn't indicate if I needed braces or not at that time. My parents, however, did notice some red flags as I would sit in this position when I would listen. Jaw open, tongue coming forward. That was the indicator that I had a tongue thrust and they absolutely brought me to see a speech language pathologist for treatment. Now, when it comes to receiving therapy services for a tongue thrust, no, it's never too late. And yes, we're absolutely able to do that with you at Better Speech. If you have questions about a tongue thrust or would like to speak with a speech language pathologist, please feel free to reach out to us. Simply visit betterspeech.com where we offer you a free 15 minute consultation and we will do our very best to answer any and all of your questions. Thank you so much for your time and we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to us for more. Till next time, have a great rest of your day.